Every batsman would like to make the art of batting look simple. And certainly someone who did that was Vivian Richards. He had a remarkable eye for the ball and, of course, a ferocious talent, which made him one of the most feared batsmen in the world. He was also one of the most entertaining, capable of instantly transforming a match. Textbook coaching isn't Viv's style, as you'll find out in this month's contribution from the MCC's masterclass. The subject is attacking batting. A particular shot I think we're going to try is a shot that uh, I've totally enjoyed over the years. A shot that I think uh, sometimes, and if you do get it in the right place and you time it sweetly enough, sometimes it do break bowlers' hearts. So uh, I'm quite certain guys are going to try that for me now. Yes, yes, yes. You try and get your head over that ball a little bit more. Yeah. You know, I find like you're walking into it a little bit. Yeah. If you can obviously pivot yourself, get yourself nice and balanced. Yeah. When you're nice and balanced, the head and everything will be balanced as well too. Then you come into the shot and just stay with it a little bit more. All right. I think you'll have to start saying your prayers about that one, innit? That's a little uppish again. That's a little wee bit uppish again. Because you just, I think uh, your feet were nowhere. You know, you just yeah, stood there and right. had a little swish, you know? Yeah. If you get your pitch to the close, as close as possible to the ball, you eliminate all these chances. Yeah. I, I believe in when you're driving and when you're looking to play your shot, to try and get your foot as close as possible. Yeah. I think that helps. Yeah. It creates that particular one movement. At least try that, you know, if you sit back there and put your head up in the air, it's going to be in the air. Yeah. But try and get over a little bit and get your foot to the pitch and keep your head nice and still. Yeah. Yes, that's it. I've always felt that uh, a good coach deals with the ability of his client, not to, uh, to uh, obviously impose something that was written into the particular manual. You've got to work around that particular individual and work with his strengths. When you're dealing with young kids, you should uh, allow them to be free and to be relaxed and not to complicate them too much with this fact about defense first before they can hit a ball. I believe when they f could fully accomplish hitting a cricket ball and doing all the natural things of uh, hitting it to all parts of the ground, then I think defense can come in and you can learn and say, well, what I should do and what I shouldn't. Just go for it, man, go for it. Looking good, looking good. Better. Sweet, sweet. You have me here, man, and wicked. I think if you're playing professional cricket, you should be able to work out within yourself when is there to be hit and when it's not there to be hit. But the most important thing to prepare yourself to do this is to be totally relaxed in your mind and body. Yes, I, I like that, you know? Because whenever you're playing on the back foot, I, I like to see a guy utilize the full crease. You know, if you're, if you're going to go back, it's always nice that you can't just, just stand here and, and do that, which means I like to see a guy utilize his full crease and know exactly where the crease is and the stumps, so that when he gets here, he can get maximum power if he's going to play an attacking shot behind him. I love that, you know? Yeah, that's it, that's it. When you rock back, you rock back to do the business, you know? I can only explain it the way that, uh, that I know it and the way that I have learned it. But uh, maybe to try and explain it to a, a younger kid, it's important that he, he knows exactly what he can achieve. If he thinks, well, uh, he's uh, in the Jeff Boycott sort of uh, a mold. I have nothing against uh, guys who go out and defend. But I've always believed in the entertainment side of it. And uh, if you're a young sort of individual, you shouldn't allow maybe how you feel. You do not feel confident enough for you to go out wanting to hit the ball. But if that's the way you feel, you get an enjoyment of that, why not go out and enjoy it? You know, I believe in that. It's only, you're only going to get out. Ah, that's a good shot. I love that, huh? I, I like, uh, I love to see the good things like, you, you, yeah, you're trying to rush them a little bit or you try to be too, too quick. But right here, you utilize the full crease and you wait it and you, and if you can hit it in front of the square and you can hook where you have sufficient chance where you can come over it and get your, your, your head the other side of it, I think you're doing well. Yeah. It's yeah. always nice you can look to keep it down a little bit. Yeah. Try and get on, get on top of it because you're trying to, uh, to not get in that position or get yeah. caught in that position. So try and see if you can get on top of it a little bit more. So which means you'd be looking to be on your toes rather than to be flat-footed yeah. anyway. You know, if you can get on your toes, and, which means it gives you a little bit more room and height as well to 
for you to roll your wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Can I have some of those? Viv Richards is one of ten international cricketers who contribute to the MCC Masterclass Twin video set. It's available.